Well, moving on to Singapore's COVID-19 vaccination progress, from the later half of this month, younger people will get invited to get their shots, but this will be doled out in smaller age bands given the limited vaccine supply. We will be inviting subsequent age bands to receive vaccinations from the later part of May. However, as vaccine supplies continue to be limited, vaccinations will be progressively extended in smaller age bands. We thank everyone for your patience, and if vaccine supplies arrive as scheduled, we will complete the vaccination program by the end of this year. As at May 9th, around 1.2 million people have completed the full vaccination regimen. About two-thirds of those eligible have either been inoculated or booked their vaccination appointments. And Mr Gunn urged residents to keep encouraging seniors to get their jabs. He also said the Health Sciences Authority is studying whether Pfizer's vaccine can be used for children from 12 to 15 years old. Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna are currently only approved for use in persons aged 16 and 18 years old and above, respectively. The initial data provided by BioNTech, Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna at the time of the pandemic special access route interim authorization did not include data regarding their use in younger populations. The Health Sciences Authority has, has been examining the supplemental data that have since been submitted for the Pfizer vaccine to assess if the vaccine meets safety and efficacy requirements for authorization under PISA for use in adolescents aged 12 to 15 years. HSA has also do, uh, will also do so for Moderna vaccine when data is submitted to them. We will share more details when the studies are completed. As for children below 12 years of age, clinical trials are still ongoing and may take more time before enough data is available. Now, for those who cannot be vaccinated against COVID-19, Mr Gan said these individuals are noted in MOH's records and they will be informed when there's a suitable shot for them in the future or when new evidence shows that current vaccines can be administered to them. Mr Gan said as well that authorities are still examining data on booster shots. He encouraged those eligible to, quote, get the two shots first. <laughs> 